Thank you for staying with us. In the southern part of the continent, violence is reportedly increasing again along the Misalo River after several protracted weeks of inaction among the insurgents in the southeastern Mozambique. At least five soldiers were killed and numerous more were injured in an insurgent attack on Mozambican Armed Forces FADM positions near Mandava in the Mudumbe area of Cabo Delgado province over the weekend. The Madava attack came two weeks after the assault on Mangalewa, which is located some 30 kilometers to the east. Other, these occurrences indicate that the government led vocal for operation in January may not have completely succeeded in its mission to drive insurgents out of the Marcelo River Valley. Joining me on the news to discuss this is a political analyst, Robert Mugabe. Thank you for joining us, Robert. Just give us a quick background to your name, if you don't mind, because everybody will be wondering. Uh, I got the name Robert Mugabe uh, because my father was a friend to former president of Zimbabwe. Uh, and by then they were involved in the in the pan-african movement and the uh, the operation headquarters was in Ma, in tanzania Dar es Salaam, so they could uh, meet in a uh, uh, tanzanian university called the university of Dar es Salaam. okay I, I think that that was a very uh, lovely uh, background to the name uh, quickly though um, with the latest assault on government forces following months of peace what might have gone wrong, in your opinion, to guarantee assurances and confidences by the people? Uh, you see, there is the, the, the problem of Mozambique is a very big country, and government forces are not initially at the, uh, with the capacity to hold the, uh, the insurgents, who are not naturally, uh, some of them are... Uh, citizens of Mozambique, others are just foreigners who are trying to build uh, a base in Mozambique, which will uh, definitely want to, to create a car fight in the East African region. Okay, they are, they are motive, according to some intelligence uh, collected by Rwandan forces, their target is not necessarily the entire Mozambique, but the area of Cabo Delgado, in the districts, in some districts, and also they want to come into Tanzania, and they think that they can uh, create a car fight somewhere in 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 Pemba or in Zanzibar. So there are Rwandan forces deployed in Cabo Delgado, but also another side of Cabo Delgado, there is a Sadek forces uh, south. Uh, a block of South African countries. So there is a quite of a certain mismatch between uh, where Rwanda forces are deployed and where Sadek forces are deployed, and even the government, the, the, the Mozambique government or, uh, the forces where they are. So that's where the problem is. But also uh, in combating terrorism, there is a need of the government to, to try to talk to the people. Some people, there were reports that some locals have been working and doing business with these uh, uh, so-called terrorists. So it's uh, to, to, to try to bring together people, talk to people and eradicate all these rebels, you needed to work with the community. What do you believe the continent of Africa can do to put an end to the insurgency? Uh, there is a lot of to there is a lot to that, and that there have been more researches and more discussion about it. And also in the at the continent level, the African Union is trying has been coming up with a, a theme of silencing guns and. Uh, However, it has not been successful. As we talk, there, there have been fightings in Ethiopia, fighting in Sudan, now fighting in DRC, and now Mozambique is there having some issues. But I think there is a problem 
in Africa of having inclusive governance where everybody should be should feel being heard and being a part of the government of the governance system. And also I think some government in Africa should get away with the ethnicity and the tribalism as far as the politics is concerned, because you cannot have a, a, a political discourse which is built on a, on a certain tribe or a certain ethnicity. Mm -hmm. Definitely also some of the uh, problems concerning the economy are also kicking in. So that's a problem. That's a problem, but govern, good governance, good governance and inclusive politics exactly. is the way to go. There is no another way. Thank you very much, Robert, for speaking with us. Thank you so much for having me.